After the break, Jenny Frost with us to tell us why wearing your jeans to work today could raise millions to help them. Oh, it's tomorrow. tomorrow. Oh, wow. We'll, get, we'll <laughs> sort it all out in a minute when we talk to you properly. But the Chorney family are here. If you do that tomorrow, you can help families like this one here. We'll be telling you all about it anyway after the break. Hello again. Thursday morning, 18 minutes to 8 the time. And I want to introduce you to a very special little lady who's come to join us this morning. Here she is. She's wise beyond her years. And you'll, you'll hear why in a moment. Her name's Ella Chorney. Ella's five and she suffers from a genetic disorder called Rett syndrome. Mum, Helen's with her, Dad Mike's here too, and uh, former atomic kitten Jenny Frost is here too um, because it's Jean for Jeans Day. Jeans for Jeans Day tomorrow, the 1st of October. Asking Jenny about that in a moment. But first of all, let's talk about little Ella because she is she does look so wise beyond her years. She's only five, yes. isn't she? And and tell her tell us what's the matter with um, well, she has a genetic disorder called Rett syndrome mm -hmm. um, that we only were told when she was about 18 months. So obviously that was quite devastating because when you read up about it, you realise that she's never going to walk or talk or do all the normal things that other little girls do. Yeah, she can't. She can't sit on her own either. No, can she can't she? sit. She can't really use her hands. They have mm. a repetitive tapping. Yeah, but. All said and done, she's a beautiful little girl and she's she very is. expressive with her eyes. Yeah. She's very loving. And is she a happy little girl? Oh, she's always happy and yeah. she loves people. And she's been through so much, haven't you, yeah. sweetheart? And she, now she's having epileptic fits as well. Yeah, she has um, seizures, which is very worrying because there's nothing you can do and they just happen out of the blue. You never know when they're going to appear and they just happen. Mm. And you just really have to sit and just wait for her to get through them. Because when you have a baby, you, as they're developing, you, you, you actually can't wait for them to be able to sit on no. their own and then obviously start walking. But for you, it must be like having a baby that's about six months all the time, really. Well, because it you is, have to because her. she um, obviously she doesn't put her arms around you or anything like a normal baby. She doesn't help you dress or feed or do anything. So, you know, it is like having a big, small baby constantly mm. and it'll always be be the same. That must have a tremendous effect on family life, Mike. Absolutely. Every any time we have to we do anything, we always have to think about about Ella and how we're going to what we're going to do with Ella, uh, how we're going to manage manage with her and her posture. Even shopping now, she's too big for the trolleys. We have to think about how we're going to wheel her around as well. You're such a happy family, though. Mike <laughs> hasn't stopped smiling since he's been here. No, nor's Helen really, and she and she's so content, aren't you, Ella? Well, well mm -hmm. I think there's two ways. You could either, you know, give up. Yeah. Or else we just took, she's part of our family and mm. she's got a big family, aunties, um, nannies, granddads, yeah. and everyone loves her, so you just have to get on with your life. And, and the two brothers, Ashley well, and Christian, Ashley, who are teenagers now, yes. aren't they? How, how are they with her? Oh, they're, they're, they're fantastic. They're really supportive. They, they've grown up with her and they love her. Yeah. They love see her. the three of them there together when they were a bit smaller. <laughs> So there's all, there is always a positive. She's brought so much love into your lives, and uh, but as you say, that it's it's very difficult to deal with. And apparently, the statistics is Rett syndrome is a dis, is a genetic yeah. disorder, and apparently one in 33 babies born is affected by a genetic disorder, which I found staggering this morning. Now the reason Jenny is here is because she is patron of Genes for Genes Day, which, as I said, is tomorrow. It Jenny, is tomorrow. Um, tell us about the day. Well, basically, it's a charity uh, funded by Great Ormond Street Kids Hospital, and everybody who goes to work, to school, if you pay a pound, you can wear jeans for the day. And then the money goes into helping families like Ella's, because one in 33 kids is born with a genetic disorder, and it can be from quite mild to strong, so it's not always quite as severe as poor Ella's, but, you know, it does affect so many people. It's one baby every half an hour that's born has a genetic disorder, so, you know, somebody you know... Oh, you're tired! <laughs> Big well, you're fed up. <laughs> somebody you know will probably have a child that that's born with a genetic disorder. So, you know, everyone who's going to school to work tomorrow, pay a pound, wear your jeans, and it'll make a big difference. And this all goes toward research and what have you, Yeah, I it guess, goes yeah. to eight different charities all over the country. So it's not just in London, it's, it's the whole nation. It helps everyone. I mean, what is the prognosis for Ella? We're talking about research there, which is really what this day tomorrow is all about, funding. I mean, I think uh, short term, obviously, is just general care. And uh, there's a fantastic association called the Rett Syndrome Association in the UK. Mm. And basically, that's our support line, really. They help mm. all the families. They do fantastic work with all the families and family weekends. And every time you're down, you ring them up, and there's always somebody, you know, to help you. And yeah. so, so you're never alone? No, never alone. Right. Well, it's really lovely to meet you this Thank morning. Thank you. And especially you, little Ella. 
She's so content, isn't she? And Mike, <laughs> thanks for coming in, Jenny. Thank thanks very much indeed. And if you want to know more about Jeans for Jeans Day, uh, take a look at the website. They'll have the date on there. First of October, <laughs> tomorrow. <laughs> Louise from Bettis in Newport's have a, having a bit of a dilemma about this. She wants to wear her jeans for, for Jeans Day, but it's her Slimming World Group Day tomorrow, and she said the jeans can wear more. That oh, well, she'll that just old take excuse. them off when well, she gets them, to take wear them off denim when get home jacket and then take the jacket off, or That's a denim skirt. Good idea, good Jenny, idea. good fashion tip. We were talking about truancy early on. You went to school in Manchester. Yes. What, what did you call it? We used to call it wagging it. Wagging it? Not that what? I ever did, of course. <laughs> of no. course, but you're told they called it I'm wagging it. I'm told it was called wagging it. Wagging it. it. Okay, <laughs> okay, we're interested to know what you called hiking off school, bunking off, beaking off, skiving wagging it, whatever, off. whatever, skiving. <laughs>